following straight on from the last video, I'm going to introduce you to a new HTML tag called div or D I V or divider. Now these tags are intended to be kind of useless. They don't really do much or describe the content at all, other than the fact that inside of them, there is often some grouped content you kind of use these as groups. And the way that we specify them or the way that we make them useful is by combining them with class and ID. So for example, let's create a class of header for the header of our web page. Perhaps we want to put a UL tag in there and an li tag and say this is the home and li and this is the about for example and we refresh that and there we go now we have it and the div itself has added very very little styling to our page now if we go over here and we can now uh, we can now target the element with a class of header or actually because we're, there's only going to be one header in our page perhaps we should use ID instead so this is the ID of header let's give it a background of uh, pale violet red <laughs> there yeah let's go with that and refresh so now this entire header section has been given some styling. And sometimes this is a really nice way of grouping content together. So, you know, we could create an element, a div with an ID of content. And perhaps inside of there, we're going to put the rest of the page. Uh, and again, indentation doesn't matter, but it bothers me. So we're gonna fix that up like that. And this, is, this then creates kind of sections in our code, which we can still define the entire section by IDs. And in the next video, we'll learn about how to make them more useful with the CSS selectors.